What's up, y'all? It's your girl T, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I'm actually going to be talking to you about how you, as a wig business, can gain more followers and, um, you know, create that brand awareness and just really explode in your wig business. Um, this specifically for those of you who are really struggling or who feel like you are stuck and you're just not getting anywhere. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so you really want to explode and grow this business and gain these followers and, you know, make sure everybody know about you and your business, um, then just follow these, these little tips and tricks that I give you guys, okay? So the first thing I want to say is you have to be confident in what your business is, what you provide, and what you offer. You have to be confident. So if you feel like, oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, my, my vendor is all right. No, you want to make sure that you are one of the ones that have the best of the best um, and be confident in saying that. You want to be one of those that um, can say what your brand is, what you offer, who you help, you know, be confident in what it is to be clear on what it is. If you're clear, that's going to make you be confident, to be honest. But um, you also want to make sure that you're sharing knowledge. So uh, don't just feel as though you can just post this cute picture of this wig and it's just going to fly off the shelves. You want to provide knowledge. You want to show that you are an expert at what it is that you have to offer, what it is that you do. Um, being an expert, you know, if that means you need to take a couple of classes, if you're not that confident in what you do or area that you're witnessing, you know, invest in yourself, take a little course, a class or something like that. And just continue to practice and get better at it. So that way, when you show up for your customers, you can answer their questions. You know, you can um, explain what it is that you're doing. Um, talk about the different hair types that you have. Talk about how long yours lasts. You know, just all of those things. Um, providing that knowledge is going to, um, tell your customers or potential customers that you are an expert and you want to be an expert at whatever it is that your business offers, okay? That is why they're going to come to you because they are going to come to you for the glueless wigs. You need to be an expert at knowing how to make the glueless wigs or how to customize and style those glueless wigs, okay? Um, so that's first. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you are um, being consistent on social media. Um, you want to show up. If you're not showing up, your customers are not going to show up. So if you're wondering why they're not posting, why they're not engaged, you have to be engaging. You have to be inviting and welcoming and they will start to come. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. At first, it's going to be hard. It's going to be slow. It's going to seem like you're talking to yourself, but don't give up. Just stay consistent and keep posting. Keep asking them questions, what they like. Keep keep prompting them to engage with you. Do it in your stories. Do it on your posts. Give them call to action. But um, you know, with your content, just make sure that you don't stop. Don't get discouraged because it seems like nobody's watching. They're watching. They probably don't have not acknowledged you yet, but let me tell you, it takes a couple, you know, it takes a couple times. Think about something new that may come out. You're going to have some buyers that'll jump on something new, but you may have a couple that's going to need more convincing. That's going to need more warming up to. It's going to need, you know, some more reviews or just to see you more and see that you are serious about your brand or your business. Because if they see you're serious, then they're going to be serious and they're going to want to, you know, support you and buy what you have to offer. Um, with your content, you also want to make sure that you are hitting uh, those pain points and you are solving solutions uh, or solving problems that you're, because you're providing solutions, okay? Um there's reasons, so many different reasons why customers wear wigs, why they buy wigs, why they choose them from whichever companies they do. You want to make sure that you are speaking on or you it's very clear in your content as to why they should buy it from you. Or you want to also make sure that um, when you are speaking to them, you're letting them know, hey, this is a problem that you have speaking on their uh, problem or pain point. 
Um, here is the solution. I have what it is that can boost your confidence. That doesn't take hours to get done. You don't have to go to the salon. You can do this yourself. You know, I have information on how you can get your own hair, you know, braided down or whatever it is. But you definitely want to come consistent with your content and your content needs to be um, solutions to the problems they have and they need to make sure that they're hitting on those pain points because everybody have a reason into why they get something um you know so make sure that you know what it is so that you can show up and share it more often so that the customers will come okay so the next one is you want to make sure you have a active website um nowadays if you don't got a website, I mean, you're going to look a little, a little sketchy. So having that active website is going to not only place you, um, you know, in a higher ranking or at the level of your other um, competitors out there in the market. Um, it's also going to show that you are professional, that you are invested and that you actually believe in your business because, you know, for some people that may, maybe, oh, it's just a side hustle or, oh, I'm not sure yet. That's already telling the customers, right? Oh, just cash at me. Oh, just send it in this way, that way. That's telling a lot of customers that you're not that serious about your business. Um, a website is um, an investment. It's not cheap. You don't want to go with the cheapest website. You want to go with the best website. So, um, Sorry, my mom. So you want to go with the best website. Um, you know, it's professional that has your policies very clear and that's easy for your customer to, you know, go on and go through the entire buyer's journey. It's an experience for them, especially for us as e-commerce businesses. We don't have a, a storefront that we get to, you know, design and people can walk in and feel the atmosphere and hear the music and, you know, get the vibes. So we have to create those internet vibes. We have to, um, you you know, show our, our uh, content through, I'm sorry, show our website through just through the phone or through the computer screen. So by doing that, you know, we have to be branded. We have to make sure we're speaking their language. We have to make sure that our, our um, images and everything is very clear and that their entire experience is easy. They don't feel uneasy. They don't have to find stuff and it's all crowded all over the place. So a website is your portfolio. A website is what is basically that bridge between you and your customers getting their product. They got to go through that website. You want them to go through that website that not only protects your customer, that protects you as well. Any big business, they have a website. You, you are a big business, so you should have a website, okay? That is going to really you know, get these potential customers into being regular customers, okay? Um, the next thing is you want to make sure you have a responsive customer service, okay? Um, customer service is everything. I don't care if you have the best wigs, the best products out there. If your customer service is trash, if you're known for not responding and, you know, all of that, all of those unprofessional things, then guess what? They're not going to come back. We don't want one-time only customers. We want re reoccurring customers. We want customers to refer, you know, you to other people. You know, referrals are big, but that won't happen if you have horrible customer service. So you want to make sure that your customer service is consistent, but it's also professional. It's also um, quick. You know, it doesn't have to be all response time right in, you know, every five minutes, but, you know, have it where it's clear on your website and, your customers can reach you. It's nothing like having a business out there that they have no way of contacting them. If there's a problem, they have no way of reaching out. Like that's the the most ugh, that's the most horrible, horrible thing um, to just feel as a customer, especially after they you know that you get their money or you know they're gonna just yeah you don't want that. So customer service, um, making sure that it is on point. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to share for today. Yeah, I was looking at my notes, but yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys on today when it comes to like really just getting that brand awareness out there, exploding and, uh, you know, getting those followers. I'm telling you, if you are consistent on social media with your content, if you're confident in your business and you share uh, knowledge, valuable information to your customers, value lead magnet, that would be great. Um, maybe we'll save that for another video, but 
And if you have an active website that your customers can go to, see and read up on your business, see what your policies are, and also be able to contact you. And through contacting you, you have a active, um, responsive customer service. Like those things there, that's what they need to shop with you. So that is what you need to make sure you have. If you don't have one of these things now, then you need to put that at the top of your priority list. Um, Again, my name is T. I own Stylish Boss Academy and Stylish Styles by T. I love helping other wig businesses grow their business in this industry. I hope these tips help you guys. If you haven't followed already, make sure you click that follow button, share my uh page where I share these free gems. Um, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, y'all.